What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. Um, so first of all, I just want to say that Krishan is not out today because a lot of y'all are really asking all of us as if we at the jail. But I completely understand why y'all are asking us. So um, I'm not going to be funny. She's not out today as far as we all know because clearly she would have been released and we all would have known. TMZ probably would be waiting at the jail. Um, but um, here's the understanding that I have. I am referencing hot tea, hot chocolate. That don't mean that y'all need to go to her and say if she's right or wrong, but I'm just letting y'all know this is not my information. I did listen to her live earlier, but basically um, with Krishan and this is not going to be said verbatim. So I just want to give y'all something. Cause I know y'all like what's going on. Um, I'm going to just say, this is how I understood it. Her 30 day starts today. Because the sentence that she served for James ended today. So the hold that Oklahoma has on her starts today, which means they got 30 days from today. So July 21st, they got 30 days to come pick her up and lock her up. The situation with James has been served, though. The 20th day is today. Uh, we thought that she would be out. Uh, excuse me. I thought I'm not speaking for nobody else. I thought that she would be out today, but she's not. So, um, that is the news that I have for y'all right now. Hold on one second. Cause I am hot and I need to cut on some air two seconds. All right. Um, so the James situation is served, but that's James. They also have a hearing on the 28th for the civil suit. It's a hearing and it's for the civil side of the suit. Okay. So. Um, on the 28th, she has a hearing, uh, I guess, in L.A. for it. Um, so we'll find out what's going on on the 28th with that. But other than that, the criminal part of it uh, allegedly has been handled. But for those that are asking and going to keep asking, is she getting out today? The answer is she ain't out yet. Okay. <laughs> she always had the whole you fans just hear what you want to hear. No, it's not that we didn't understand that she didn't have the hold either. And I'm not a fan. So it, I'm just, I'm just referencing. It's not that we did not know that she didn't have the hold. What I think people took it as is after she served those 20 days that the hold will be uplifted. But not only that, uh, on the website with Oklahoma, instead of it saying fugitive, it went back to probation. So it's not that people just out here, um, you know what? I can't speak for people because it's a lot of a lot going on right now. Okay, you wasn't speaking to the host. Cool. It's a lot going on right now that's like all over the place. And people and their assumptions and you know what they wish could happen and what they hope for and all that. <laughs> uh, I'm not here for those politics, y'all. I'm just here to give you an update. Okay. Uh, I know when I was released, I was released after 10 p.m. And I knew my date. And she probably know her date, but we ain't spoke to her. You know what I'm saying? Nobody's talking to Krishan. At least I'm not. So <laughs> I wouldn't. She not telling me. We, we're going off the website. You know what I'm saying? And I also want y'all to know, because a lot of people are like, uh, something about people minding their business. I'm going to let y'all know right now. If, if it wasn't public, Business would be minded, right? But you cannot ask us to mind our business and y'all all in ours. It's just crazy. Okay, I just I just thought that I, I wanted to say that today. <laughs> There's no way that you could be upset with us in her business, which is public, but then mad that you in my business, which is public. You know what I'm saying? Like, this is public, y'all. All of this is public. It's happening. It's happening in real time, Okay. And I also want y'all to know we are the jury of this. We are the jury of what's going on in, in every situation on the internet. Okay? It's 12.10 out here. The jail's out. It's 12.10 out here. The jail's out here not even releasing nobody yet, and it's a weekday. So you're saying it's a possibility that she could still get out. We shall see. 
people are speaking on legal matters like they're lawyers or something, plus they're biased, so they aren't even accurate in what they're saying on both fan side and not to fan side. I'm a rock fan myself. Uh, um, I see all these back and forth as a fan of rock, and it's tiring. <laughs> Oh, I appreciate you, uh, Spirit. You know, I try to do my thing. They time letting you out. Uh, it's definitely a possibility, but if OK has a hold, they have days to hold her until they come also. OK. They be moving slow on purpose. Then that part I do know. That part I'm absolutely aware of, that they, they, they take their time to do what it is that they want to do. So... I was just giving y'all an update on that. What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into a TikTok chronicle. I think that's our third TikTok chronicle, maybe number four. Um, my good sis Kendra sent me this, so let's get into it. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know what she said. I don't know what you're saying, honey. Okay. Y'all, why I get in a fight with my hairstylist? What happened? Like, I'm still in disbelief. I'm gonna have to break this video into some parts because it's kind of long, but stay with me, stay with me. Okay. I booked an appointment for June 5th at 11 a.m. weeks ago, right? Okay. I booked for small boho knotless styling. Boho? I what? What is that? If you know, you know, the style takes about eight hours plus, and she was in. Uh uh. I need to know what that is. Uh, boho braids. Ah, ah, okay. These, okay. Ah. Including the hair, human hair, for $380. $380. Red flag number one. She sent me that, hey, boo text. And that's when I knew, like, damn it, I just knew. I already knew some bullshit was about to happen. So this is a text. She said, hey, I just wanted to make sure that the hair is here before you come. It's 1 p.m., okay? 777 in the chat. I'm waiting for it to be delivered. It should be here soon. Now, as a stylist, why isn't the hair already there? Why are you just now receiving the hair the day of my appointment when I booked weeks ago, right? Now, she said the hair was delayed, woo, 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 whatever the case was. But at this point, as a stylist, you are supposed to, hey, boo, so instead of me providing the human hair, I'm going to substitute it for this hair instead, synthetic hair or whatever it is, and I'm going to give you a discount, Okay. right? Instead of yep. pushing somebody eight-hour appointment back. Okay. It's getting long, so come back for part two. Y'all, why I get... So I said, hey, um, you waiting on the human hair? She said, yes, it's going to be here before one. Y'all, she don't know if it's going to be here before one, after one. She's just all over the place. So I'm like, can we just use the hair that you used last time? Now, keep in mind, I did book with her before we did service for service. And we both book styles that got boho hair included. So we both used, like, the same, like, synthetic human blended hair right yeah. so i'm like hey can i just bring this hair since you already you know used to working with it so it's getting closer and closer to 11 it's 10 18 at this point and she's still not responding so i'm like okay i don't know if i should be on the way to the shop or if i should be trying to can i just i don't know what the hell is going on at this point so we're gonna stop it right here i would have canceled now she probably did pay a deposit and unfortunately sometimes you lose some so you can live to see another day. Ain't nobody got time. I would've known. So, uh, uh. Y'all, I had to call her. Now, this message right here was taking a long time to deliver. Um, deliver. I did not see this message at first. It did not pop up on my screen right away. So that's when I called her, right? Because I had texted her that she, I didn't, I didn't see no response. I called her and on the phone we spoke about, hold on. So on the phone, I'm basically explaining to her like, I can't get my appointment pushed back. Can I please just bring my own hair at this point? Like, I just, I don't mind. I'll go to the shop. I'll go get this hair. And I'm trying to accommodate with her at this point because I really need my hair done. Like, I'm going to see Chris Brown tomorrow. 
My hair's still not done. Oh. And look at my face, like, come on. Oh. So after getting off the phone, cause I had forgot to ask her, I said, what's my new total with me providing the hair, right? Y'all, this is where shit got messy. Come back for part two. This so is part said, three, hey, friend. Um, you wait. But, but you wasn't even there yet. This is part three. This is the part that's really pissing me off. Let's get into it. So after asking her what's my new total with me providing the hair, because as a stylist, as a client myself, I'm a stylist too, but I'm also a client as well because I sit in other people's chairs. You are supposed to take something off or accommodate your client if they have to provide their own hair. Just like how I have a no hair included price on my site, that's not the same price as my hair included because I'm not providing the hair, right? So she said- Y'all sis gonna have to learn how to do her own hair at this point. That the hair is still coming and showing that it's two stops away, pause. Like I said, she all over the place. She don't like, why are you pushing my appointment back to 1 p.m. if it was only a couple stops away? Like I'm so confused. Because Anyway, she said my prices later. are still the same. Pause again. How are your prices still the same when I'm asking you, what's my new total since I'm bringing my own curly hair? So she's saying they're the same price as they were before. I added the human curly hair. I didn't get a chance to change it yet. Now this got me upset because why would you include more expensive hair, right? And not upcharge your client? What is the reason? What is the reason? Stylist to stylist, that's dumb as shit. I would never go pay for more hair that's more expensive and then keep my prices the same. How are you making money out of that, babe? Explain to me. Come back for part four. My this friend, is, I just So after that up. message, I this is what I said to her, and I quote, so I'm looking at it right here on my iPad. I said, right, but if I'm including my own hair, it should be something taken off the style. And then at that point, I was just like, you can just send me back my $100 deposit. Here go the deposit. I'll figure something else out. Because at this point, I was fed up. I'm like, it's feeling like, mm, like I'm not going to get All my... All right, to the adults in my chat, would y'all have taken the L on the $100? Does anybody want to take a $100 L? No. But... Considering the circumstances, you still got to get your hair done. Um, you could have definitely went to somebody, somebody else. Or you could have even disputed it with your bank. I'm taking L. I, I, I'm going to try and dispute it when my bank and have somebody else do my hair. That's what I would have done at, at my big age right now. In the 20s, I would have definitely pulled up at her house to give me my money. But we not in the 20s no more. I would have disputed it with the bank. <laughs> Get my hair done. I'm supposed to be going to see Chris Brown tomorrow. Like, I just, I don't have and time And I got to I'll tomorrow, definitely somebody else doing my hair. Out, oh, right? So she proceeds to say, I didn't cancel on you. I just spent $80 on the hair. It's literally coming. It's not that far from here. And I just she's right. She didn't cancel on her. That is true. Set up everything and I have a whole baby. What do the baby got to do with me? <laughs> what do you having a baby got to do with me? I just really want to know. <laughs> Anyways, she said, I'm still going to use the hair when it comes. I'm literally giving you a deal because I didn't add on the human hair to my prices yet. I'm confused. No, baby. I'm confused on why you ain't upcharge if you knew that you were spending more money on this hair. I'm confused on what you having a baby has anything to do with me. I'm confused on what if, like the amount of money that you spent on the hair what does that have to do with me and why can't i get my deposit back when you aren't servicing me why is like why can't i get my deposit back if i'm not receiving the service and you're not trying to take anything because off she didn't cancel like, on so you confused. okay i'm not confused these... she did not cancel on you which means she still had time to handle that so the fact that you're pressed for time technically don't have nothing to do with her she ain't trying to hit it you press for time, cool. I'm not. I, I'm I'm trying to get you your, you know what I'm saying? Get do your hair. Um, I, I pay extra, so I'm already negative eight at all, which she should have added, but it seemed like if she would have added it, she would have had an issue anyway. So, you know, I just would have been I 
I would have took my L. I would have had to be patient. Or I would have just disputed it. But that's 30-year-old me and not in my 20s. Videos get too long, so come back for part five. You all, I'm well aware that there's a 10-minute option and that I could have just made one video, but I actually cannot in this situation. I don't have storage on my phone, so y'all just got to bear with me. So she called me after those messages, and we got on the phone. She instantly went to, I have a whole baby again. She was basically saying, like, she could still do my hair and everything. And I'm just, at this point, I don't want my hair done because I just know when I get there, there's going to be some type of animosity. And I don't want her coming on my hair too hard. I don't like nobody being rough Yo, on my yeah, hair. True, like, it been, I just, yeah. I don't have time for that. So I'm just like, we can just cancel this out right now. Save us both the um time. Just give me back my deposit. And this is what was said next. I said, I'm going to ask you nicely to send me back my money. She didn't want to send it. I'm like, so <laughs> this is what she said. Itch, I'm going to tell you nicely. You talking crazy when I've been working with you. Pull up like you said, itch. Don't ever send no empty threats. Oh, you sending empty threats, friend? I never said I wasn't sending it back, but something. You said 11 is okay when with 11 was okay with me bringing my hair. You just told me you're not taking nothing off either. Me providing my own hair. So when did she send a threat? Lord have mercy. I'm going to ask you nicely to send me my money back. That must have been the threat. Said, she said, um, I'm going to tell you nicely, you talking crazy um, when I've been working with you, which she has not. Um, she said, like you said, pull up. Don't make no empty threats. I never said I wasn't going to send it back, but now I'm going to keep it, basically. Oh. You all, I'm well aware that there's a 10-minute option and that I could have just made one. Okay. So after all of that, I did get on Facebook and told everybody, like, don't book with her. I was telling them my experience and everything. And I did go over there and we fought. She won. She ah. did. You see my eyes. Okay. And Man. <laughs> and that's what did. You see my eyes. Okay. <laughs> did go over there and we fought. She won. <clears throat> Friend, I'm so glad you honest. And that's a blessing. I would have been honest too. But what I would have said was I, I gave her what I had and she gave me what she had. <laughs> but that's fine. You, we all take an L, right? My point is, Friend just shouldn't have never went over there. You done... You done you done tested this woman patience. You think you about to come to her house? She already told you she got a baby. <laughs> she, she telling you like, girl, don't come over here. You could have took one L, one L turned into two. Just la, la, la all over the place. <laughs> yeah, I cannot. I'm sorry. She did. You see my eyes. Okay? Oh, my God. And that's what it was. Like, I'm not the type of person to sit up here and be like, no, I won, even though I... No. Nah. That, that, little, that little motherfucker was, was kind of... She was the hawk. I'm not going to lie. She was a little <laughs> buff little... Buff little girl. So, I'm just like... <laughs> damn. Now, I only did... <laughs> just... <laughs> just out here getting molly <laughs> <laughs> Y'all, why she was out here getting mopped with bleach <laughs> in in the hot water? <laughs> I... <sighs> okay, hilarious. I'm not getting my money back, but then I got my whoop. Oh no, like I just feel so wrong in the situation. I just feel like I had to speak on it, get it off my chest, because I don't like the way that it played out. But I really do feel like as stylists, we have to do better. It is not our way or the highway. It's That's not a thing. Okay? Um, and if you are like that, you're going to tarnish your business. You're going to get a bad reputation. And that's just what it is. But it's just, it's too much. Like, just because you're talented at Brian, something. You don't got beat up. I mean, you over here trying to give us a lesson. We don't need it. That girl gonna run her business as you wanna run her business. Okay? 
African does not mean that you need to make it a career. There are actually skills that you have to work on within yourself before you start a business. And a lot of women don't know that. A lot of people just jump into this hair game and they think, everything all sweet and that's why so many people are scared to send deposits so many people are scared to book appointments with women with other stylists because of stuff like this like it's not fair <laughs> and this is why i love tiktok because y'all is so funny like I damn Hold so on. after all of that i did uh, like somebody tag chris brown or something but yeah y'all that is like it's not fair but yeah, well, y'all, that's my story time. I got beat up and I lost my money. Uh, <laughs> oh my God. Like somebody tag Chris Brown or something. Like tell him what I had to go through to get to his concert because I'm still going. And the hair you got right there is fine. <laughs> but it's just a simple fact that it's just like, dang, bro. Like, really? Like this is this whole situation is so corny to me. Like, when it comes to Milwaukee, the small business owners and hustlers and everything, like, the professionalism is super, super low. Like, I believe that a lot of us can make it out and do great things, but the way that we, the way that people are operating these businesses is not okay. And people wondering why they can't build clients. Cassandra, I feel bad for her as well. I just, you know, I don't understand. <laughs> That's not funny. Tell and why they don't have clients and everything and why the money not coming in. Maybe it's time to look inside. Maybe it's not your talent. Maybe it's something inside of you that you got to get out of you first in order to be able to move forward. <laughs> like, we really can be our worst enemies at times. I can't believe we And until a we see that, it ain't nothing that God can do for us. That God can't use us if we if we're not willing to change. I cannot believe we get so. A yeah, that's that's all I gotta say. And this is why I love TikTok because y'all is so funny. Like I promise, y'all not laughing at me. We laughing together because I I still can't believe she beat me up like that. Uh, like dang, I thought to see he was beating my ass for a minute. I was like, fuck, damn, man. But you know what, baby? One thing about me is I don't care what nobody think about me. I keep seeing comments like, oh, I would have took this to the grave. I would have never said this. That's because y'all scared. I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not scared, baby. I don't care how stuff be making me look. Because guess what? God can still use me. I feel her. I, I do. We all done took an L or two in our life. Okay? But. I just don't like how happy she is about the L, and that's what's bothering me the most. She's so okay with the L. I would have had to run another fade, though. <laughs> okay, she will get her ass whooped again. Clear, uh, you know what? And that's fine. Some some of us just, uh, Jesus Christ. Listen, I have had a couple situations in my life that if I had to replay, I would have used Glockiana. Okay? Glockiana would have been my best friend in that situation. I'm glad she didn't. I'm just saying, you know what? She she took her L. I just hate that she did. <laughs> she took her L. We're going to keep it moving. <laughs> We're going to keep it moving. He can still use and this. she's honest, so that's fine. Situation, so I we literally don't care. be caring, like... People probably done heard the craziest stuff about me. Do I give a fuck? No. Okay, not man. even a little bit. Man. Let's crack the jokes. Let's let's get it popping. Because, baby, I am weak. For real, for real. Like, I just, y'all see how I'm moving my arm? Because, like, my arm hurt. <laughs> no, no. My arm really do hurt. Like, <laughs> friend, we need a video. You got drug. We need to see a video. <laughs> Tzatziki, where are you? <laughs> And y'all know she all of a hundred pounds soaking wet, girl. She that girl was probably big, and you know she had a baby. I keep saying that because this girl is clearly a baby. <laughs> that child got some strength over there. The, the mama, <laughs> she got some scrumph. Okay, <laughs> this baby don't know nothing about that life. Okay, 
This is a, a child right here. And this is why I love. Oh, it's cool. Damn! She glasses back on. <laughs> she went. She went. <laughs> oh no, nah. she went. Do you hear me? She still made it, friend. You didn't have to get beat up for that, Lord. Oh man, Chris Brown was fly as hell in every fit, ain't it? Child, we done missed the show. Uh, we're going to have to wait till you do it again. Some years ago, uh, from now. <laughs> huh? Oh. Okay. Well, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below. This poor child. Ain't nothing wrong with it. You know, we all have taken an L from time to time, and this is one of the L's that she had to take. And um, she stood on it, and that's that's real. So, love y'all. Appreciate y'all. Hey, yeah. <laughs>